Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell you how you can solve a right triangle if you are given with one side and one angle. First of all, what uh, does it mean by to solve a right triangle? I mean, solve a right triangle means you have to find all the three sides and all the three angles. Find three sides plus three angles. So, solving a right triangle means you have to find all the three sides and all the three angles. Now, it depends what is given. So, sometimes you are given with one side and one angle. Sometimes you are given with one angle and two sides. There are different cases. But the base is same for all these things. So, first of all, we will see how you can find the side lengths. Then we will solve the triangle one by one. So, for finding the side lengths, we have to use a Pythagoras theorem. So, Pythagoras theorem is used for measuring the side lengths and this theorem is used only for the right triangles. So, keep this in mind that this theorem is only meant for right triangles, the triangles where the where one angle is of 90 degrees. So, Pythagoras theorem is C square is equals to A square plus B square. Now, how you will come to know what is C, what is A and what is B? So, you can also write this as hypotenuse square, hypotenuse of a right triangle is equals to base square plus perpendicular square. So, this is a formula for finding the side lengths of a right triangle. What do we do for finding the, the uh, acute angles of the right triangle? Now, ac why acute angles? Because if one angle is of 90 degree, all the rest of the angles will be less than 90. So, for solving a right triangle, you have to find the measure of the acute angles. So, acute angles. So, for finding the acute angles, we have to write the, um, the trigonometric ratios. Now, what are the trigonometric ratios? Let's write it. Sin theta is equals to opposite leg divided by or you can say opposite side divided by hypotenuse. And cos theta is equals to adjacent side. I will explain it one by one divided by hypotenuse and tan theta is equals to opposite side divided by adjacent side. So, these are the three trigonometric ratios that you have to use in order to solve the right triangle. The angle, uh, the right triangle where uh, you can also find the sides by use, using these um, uh, trigonometric ratios and you can also find the angles. So, let us start solving the, um, uh, the right triangle so you can have clear concept about it. So, we will start here as First of all, we are given with that. This is a right triangle. Here we are given with one angle. As we already know that the other angle is 90 degree and the one angle that is given is 30 degree. Now, what left is the angle alpha. So, how you can find the angle alpha is you just need to write here as the sum of the three angles in a right triangle is 180 degree or you can say in any triangle, the sum of all the three angles is equals to 180 degree. So, we can uh, we can find the angle that is the third angle alpha here by this method. So, if I write here sum of all angles is equals to 180 degrees. So, if I do the sum of all the angles of this given right triangle, I can write here as 30 plus 90 plus alpha is equals to 180. Alpha is the unknown angle here. So, alpha will remain on one side and the other will go on one side on the other side. So, 180 minus 120 is equals to 60 degree. So, alpha is equals to this angle is equals to 60 degree. So, this is how you can find the third angle. Now, what about the sides? There are two sides that are unknown. That is, so the two sides are this is an unknown side and this is an unknown side and the known side is this that is A is equals to 5. Now, what we have to do in order to find these sides? We have to use the trigonometric ratios that are given of acute angles that, that you can use in order to find the sides of the right triangle. Now, we have to decide which trigonometric ratio we have to choose in order to find the sides. Now, keep this in mind while choosing the trigonometric ratio, you have to choose that one in which one side is known. For example, if I choose sin theta, this trigonometric ratio, then one here the values are opposite over opposite side over hypotenuse now if i say sin 30 now opposite what does it mean by sin 30 it the opposite side means the side that is opposite to the angle 30 so the side opposite to this angle 30 is the side a is equals to 5 
so this is a known side so and hypotenuse is unknown it means you must have one known and the other unknown side in order to find the values of the side using these trigonometric ratio so i will decide so i have decided to choose sin theta trigonometric ratio to find the value of the hypotenuse b so let's see how we can do it sin and angle will be this 30 degree sin 30 is equals to opposite divided by hypotenuse value of opposite is 5 opposite it means the value of the opposite leg or the opposite side of this 30 degree divided by hypotenuse hypotenuse is b so we know that value of sin 30 is 1 by 2 so we can get the value of b is equals to 10 so this is the value of b that is hypotenuse b is equals to 10 so i can write here as b is equals to 10 now one one side is left that is c so we can easily find the side c by using the pythagoras theorem because pythagoras theorem will always be applicable only when you have two known side and the third side you have to find so c square is equals to a square plus b square c is the hypotenuse hypotenuse we already know so i'll write c square is equals to a square plus b square don't get confused about a b c keep this in mind always that in pythagoras theorem c represents the hypotenuse so we have the hypotenuse 10 10 square is 100 is equals to a is what a is a is the uh, a could be base b could be perpendicular it doesn't matter so but keep this in mind a and b must be base and perpendicular so base is the unknown that is c and perpendicular is 5 square that is 25 so what we will get is c square plus 20 25 so c is equals to 5 under root 3 so this will be the value of c that is 5 under root 3 so we have got the values of all the three sides and all the three angles of the right triangle it means we have solved the right triangle so this is the one right triangle let's solve one more so that you can uh, not get confused uh, in it so in now in this right triangle we have an an beta the angle beta that is unknown So before finding the angle beta that we already know that we will sum all the three angles and we will find the third angle we will find the sides here first it doesn't matter whether you find the sides first or whether you find the angles first so let's see which trigonometric ratio we have to use in order to find the sides now keep this in mind here again this is unknown side and this is unknown side so we have to these find these sides and a is equals to 5 this is a known side now which trigonometric ratio let's see keep this in mind that we can't take this angle here we have to take this sin 30 degree because beta is unknown so we have to take sin 30 if i write sin 30 if i write sin 30 sin 30 is equals to opposite over hypotenuse now what is the opposite side of sin 30 opposite side of sin 30 is this c and the hypotenuse is b both are unknown can we find by using this trigonometric ratio no we can't find using this trigonometric ratio so we cannot use sin 30 in this case because we both have c and b as unknown we must have one value known in order to find the value of the side so let's see we can can we use another trigonometric ratio that is cos 30 if i write here cos 30 cos 30 is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse now adjacent means the side that is adjacent to the angle so the side that is adjacent to this 30 degree angle is this perpendicular so it means we have to write a divided by hypotenuse is b so can we take cos 30 yes we can take cos 30 because a is known here so we have to choose cos 30 rather than sin 30 because we have one known value and the other is unknown value this is how you have to decide which trigonometric ratio you have to use so a is 5 and b is unknown so cos 30 is what cos 30 is under root 3 by 2 and this is 5 by b so what we will get the value of b is equals to 10 divided by under root 3 so we have got the value of b now what left is the value of c now that can easily be find using the uh, pythagoras theorem that is you have to find the base so ba what we will do we have to write c square is equals to a square plus b square so we know the hypotenuse yes the hypotenuse we have found 10 divided by under root 3 whole square is equals to what is a that is perpendicular plus base so 5 square plus c so what we will get is c is equals to 5 divided by under root 3 
so this is the value of the third side so we have got all the three side and the angle what, what will be the third angle but for angle you just need to add all these angles and equate it to 180 degree so what we will get is here again the angle will be alpha is equals to here the angle will be beta is equals to 90 plus 30 is 120 so we have to subtract 120 from 180 what we will get is 60 degree so this will be the angle so this is how you can solve a right triangle if you are given with one side or one angle. So keep this in mind, the method of solving these right triangle, you must have the clear concepts about the, the trigonometric ratios that sine theta is equal to what, cos theta is equal to what and tan theta is equal to what. So that's all from today's lecture. Thank you.